side will be a vital confidence boost to carry into the second half of the season. Commentary at Parkhead comes from Gary Blue. At least will be no Celtic against Rangers Scottish Cup final this year. But whoever wins this third round tie will be overwhelming favourites to win the final at Hampden Park in May. These two met in the Scottish Cup quarter-final last season. Celtic went through. Didier Agat has been out for six games with an ankle injury. He returns for the suspended Neil Lennon. Martin O'Neill looks to Chris Sutton, who played and scored the winner against Livingston last weekend, despite having been laid low with the effects of a virus. He was sent off against Rangers last season. Rangers keep the same back four as last week, but change it around in midfield and up front with new boy William Djordic in for Robert Malcolm. Last week's goal hero, Hamid Namucci, starts ahead of Shota Arbalanza. And Stephen Thompson makes way for Spanish striker Nacho Novo, who returns from suspension. Of course, Rangers have sold jean Alan Boomsong to Newcastle. One wonders how their defence will cope against Celtic this afternoon. A handshake for the two managers. That is probably going to be the last of the pleasantries between Celtic and Rangers for the next 90 minutes. Rangers' last win here almost five years ago. Celtic have won the Scottish Cup 32 times. Rangers 31 times. These are the two traditional powerhouses of Scottish football. Here's Didier Agat for Celtic. Rangers last went out at the third round stage in 1987. Celtic last went out at the third round stage in the year 2000, beaten by Caledonian Fisk. Free kick here to Rangers. Gregory Vignal, the Frenchman, in possession. And he's allowed to run with the ball. Touched by Peugeot. Mamucci, Rickson, good play here by Rangers. Bright and breezy early on by them. Hutton with a cross. Agat has won it back there for Celtic, and here's Petrov. Feeds John Hart. Sut Petrov. Trip by Vignal. And the referee is going to have to have a word here with Gregory Vignal. Proved challenge there on Petrov. No booking. Free kick here to Celtic. Petrov! Well held by Stefan Klosch. Yeah, this week has been linked with a move to Borussia Mönchengladbach, where his former manager Dick Abbeck has in charge. Good header on by Andrews, trying to pick out Dada Persho. There's one player who could win it for Rangers this afternoon, it's probably Persho, a talented striker. Hart. Petrov. Agat. Fed in here to Sutton. Peels for handball, not given. Petrov caught there by Alex Ray, a boyhood Rangers fan. This will be a big, big game for him. Petrov and Thompson stand over the ball. Vargas gone forward here for Celtic. Thompson with a free kick. Hudson edges it down. Away by Persho. Picked up by McNamara. Celtic trying to stay on the front foot here. It's Alan Thompson. Intelligent ball to Laos. McGeady. Laos. Fed in towards Sutton and uh, a bit of a collision there involving Ray. No foul. Agat. Celtic keep that pressure on Rangers. Petrov. Sutton. Thompson. In towards Hudson, and cleared by Marvin Andrews. You can see now why Hartson is a danger man for Celtic. Andrews happy to clear the ball virtually anywhere. He launched it over his own crossbar, and Thompson takes the corner. Beaten away by Klosch, McGeady. I think they're appealing for a handball there. Martin O'Neill, who's never lost an old firm game here at Celtic Park. Clumsy challenge by Andrews. On 
Chris Sutton. He scored nine goals this season. That's a small one in this game. Nagini, this exciting young winger, stands over the free kick. And Rangers defence taking quite a battering now. Wait for the whistle to see message from Hugh Dallas. But no doubt Hearts will be involved. McGeady lost belts it clear, but he wasn't really out by the presence there of Andrews. Not much communication between defender and goalkeeper. And the result is a corner kick to Celtic, which McGeady will take. Away by Andrews. Sutton gets it wide. McGeady. Klosch gets it away. Oh! Hudson's in there and held on the line. Well, the defensive clamour to get the ball clear meant that Rangers almost hit the self-destruct button. Persia. Ricks. It's a fine ball. Mamucci. The game has been played so far, mainly in the Rangers' half of the field. Mamucci, Novo and Persia have been fed on crumbs so far as Douglas slams the ball forward. And Hartson and Sutton! Celtic have the lead! It's Chris Sutton's seventh goal in an old firm game. Real route one football there by Celtic. Hartson won it. And Andrews was conspicuous by his absence. He got nowhere near Sutton when the ball was flicked on. Martin O'Neill watches Chris Sutton score his 10th goal of the season. The pressure here on Rangers is enormous. Andrews got his head to the ball. Andrews has to clear it again. Again, Vignal. Can Rangers make a quick response to going a goal behind? Nacho Nova. Namuchi claims he was obstructed there. Was there a deliberate block? On Jackie McNamara, number four. It's a free kick to Rangers. It looks like number 24, Vignal. In fact, it's Rickson. And he clears the crossbar by some distance. Vignal. Oh, one back brilliantly by Didier Aguet. Ray gets across. Happy to stand the ball into touch. The important thing here for Rangers is not to concede again before half-time. Hudson, played by Andrews. Vignal. Ray, and the pressure from Sutton. McNamara tried to win it. This really has been a baptism of fire for Djordic. It hasn't been an easy first half for Rangers. Behind to a goal from Chris Sutton. A real goal poacher's goal by the Englishman. And Rangers have an awful lot to do to stay in the Scottish Cup. At half-time, it's Celtic 1, Rangers 0. Coming up in part two old firm games, but find themselves a goal down at half-time in this Scottish Cup third-round tie away to Celtic. How can they respond in this second half? Andrews drives the ball forward. Celtic bossed that first half, and indeed their supporters are in fine voice as the second half begins. Namuchi. Celtic have been very quick in the tackle. And they know they're going to have to be as keen in this second half if they're going to progress to the fourth round of the competition. V 
Martignal, former Liverpool player, away from Hartson. Persia. Got away from McNamara. It's Ray. Jordic, recent arrival from Manchester United. Celtic can't get a kick of the ball at the moment. Ray. Hutton. Away from McKeady. Rickson. Oh, reaches a level. A real slap in the face for Celtic. Right at the start of the second half. And it's Fernando Rickson. Rickson, who twice has been sent off in these fixtures, now makes his impact in a quite different way. I think Celtic had gone to sleep. Where was Bobo Baldi? Oh, we really have a cup toy now. Celtic won, Rangers won. Sutton. McNamara. Thompson. Hartson leaves it. Petrov. Take the ball out well, but well held by Stefan Klosch. Klosch has won the Scottish Cup four times. Andrews up towards Persia. Way by Varga. Hartson flicks it off. Sutton. Not Sutton was fouled there. The referees are now the advantage. And here's Didier again. Celtic have responded well since conceding that goal to Rangers. McGeady takes on Hutton. Close. Oh, fantastic goal line clearance by Kishanishvili. Celtic claim the ball across the line. Controversy reigns here at Celtic Park. Did Kishanis really get the ball away in time? I suspect the answer is yes. But my goodness, it was close. Hartson didn't agree with the referee's assistant. Persia. Tackled by McNamara, but Persia has won it back. Right. Persia. Takes on a gat and then drifts inside. And here's Rickson. Chips it through towards Nacho Novo. And Rangers are threatening to take this cap tie by the scruff of its neck. And win here for the first time in almost five years. To call it unpalatable would be an understatement to the Celtic fans. A gat. Gat's done really well, I think he was impeded there. He's won a free kick. Quite clearly he was having his green and white Duke jersey tug. Rangers have to be vigilant, Baldi's gone forward, Sutton's in there as well. Flicked on by Sutton. And Hartson couldn't convert the chance at the far post. A well flighted free kick here by Alan Thompson. One Englishman to another. Hunt. Cleared by Marvin Andrews. Baldi gets his head to the ball. Persia clashes with Varga. The tempo has been absolutely relentless. As the gap goes forward here for Celtic. Sutton. Hudson! It's there! Celtic have the lead for a second time. 13 minutes left. And Celtic sniff the opportunity of dumping Rangers out of the Scottish Cup at the third round. Once again, Marvin Andrews cruelly exposed here. Might have even got a touch on the shot by Hudson. Ball put out by Bobo Baldi. And this is a stern examination of the Celtic defence now. Rickson to take the corner. Away 
cleared by Baldi. Just the nearest of touches there by Agat and Rickson to take the corner kick. And you can see Rangers in a real hurry to get on with the game now. You can hardly blame them. Rickson. Away by Hartson. And Persho. And that's a Novo! Tantalising whiff of an equaliser for Rangers. Close, but no cigar. Rangers took that corner quick, quickly. As we look again at that chance for Novo. It's held by Rab Douglas, and the danger appears to have passed, at least for the time being. It's an anxious moment when every manager looks at his watch. Not long left. Rangers are flirting by the exit door of the Scottish Cup. It's all over. Celtic have knocked out Rangers. Real sense of delight here at Celtic Park, but relief too for Martin O'Neill. Celtic's fantastic record here against Rangers continues. They've stopped Rangers' run of beating Celtic in the last two Old Firm games. Celtic 2, Rangers 1.